Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you see the caption, this video is literally about to be me showing y'all how I put on my, how I melt my cap and I put on my wigs. So if you are a beginner and you not like a hairstylist, but you want to learn how to do it because you don't want to have to pay $100 to put a wig on every time, this is your video. So um, of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. I'll link those below. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, I know I'm looking real rough right now, um, but of course, I'm just about to get into this look. So I'm sure it's tons of videos showing you how to, of course, put your wig cap or put your wig on or whatever. Um, but what I use, of course, the basic necessities. So um, I bought this wig cap. Normally I use this wig cap, but I'm gonna have to like order them off of probably AliExpress because the beauty supply stores here in Houston, I've only seen they either have these or or these, right? So I, I haven't seen these in store, but these are like the best ones because they stretch really good. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'll be using this one today. Other than the wig cap, um, I have alcohol. This is to like clean up. Say like if I get glued too far down, alcohol. Um, I have some cotton rounds to, you know, use for the alcohol. Um, I have my right tail comb. This is to help me lay the lace down. Um, if I need to cut off any extra lace, but my lace is already cut because I wore this wig already. Um, some clips to hold the hair back so you won't get glue on the hair. Of course, whatever your preference of glue is this is what i use um i know people use the gossip be spray gossip be spray don't work for me i perspire too much on my forehead and it just don't hold right um and of course your wig so um so i literally just use one wig i'm literally gonna go through how i melt the um the cap on because i can't just have I can't just have like this band right here. I can't, I can't do it, like it's a no. Oh, I also need scissors, but I'll go get those. So I kind of like nigga braided my hair and I clearly been wearing wigs too much, y'all. Excuse my hair, cause y'all can see like right here, right? Boom. So I'm about to just uh, twist up my hair in the back, right? This wig is literally gonna last me a couple of days cause yeah, I need to put my hair back up. I just washed it this morning. But, so yeah, I'm just take the wig cap and try not to put any runs in it. Um, yeah, that's like the worst, right? So, um, I got a big ass head, so I'm just stretch it all across. Oh, this is, this one is pretty stretchy. Okay, so then I would recommend this brand, which is not by Q-Fit. This one is by, by Kiss. So the kiss, kiss ones are pretty good also because again my head is huge, and the Q fit ones don't always pull all the way right here for me. Um, so yeah, the um, so yeah, but that's good. So what I do, so now I be indecisive on what I be want to use when I um, melt it down. Um, am I in a hurry today? No, I'm not. So if I need to use this, I will, like just to lay the extra parts down. But as of now, I'm gonna just use my bow hold active. So I'm gonna just take this and literally, I'm just gonna go um, in front of my hairline, right? And then I'm gonna just literally sculpt out exactly where I need, um, where I'm, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Exactly where I need to have the front of the lace down, right? So let me pull this part of my ear down. Um, uh, I broke the back like part of a red tail comb, so I just use this literally to just, um, you know, uh, rub in 
a smooth down the actual um, lace glue. And I prefer this method. Like I like I said, I've tried I've tried pretty much all methods. I've tried the Gots to be gel for this. Um, I've tried the the spray. Uh, I tried them all, but I prefer the lace glue because it, it it goes on transparent once it dries and it it doesn't take a long time either. So uh, and it holds. That's another thing. You want it to hold. Hold, hold, hold. So. I did that. So I, I let it dry this side right here. Like on my edges. I mean this to lay down. Because it likes to be white right here. And I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. Um. So. You see how it's drawing clear? That's how I need it to dry all over. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do this part over while I wait on the sides to dry, all right? Uh, so they just go back in. Same. And then take my little thingy my jig here, my the tooth to my right, my tail to my right tail comb, and then again just smooth the the glue down. So everything is sticking, right? We want it to stick. We want it to stick. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna do the sides once it fully dries on the sides. Cause you know, the sides like to come up. So you wanna make sure you get the sides down. Cause that'd be like, I don't, I'm not like one of them people who gonna go and cut my, it, like my sideburns. Cause I have really long ones. So I try to get it down as much as I possibly can. But yeah, so I just take the glue and then just lay that down some more. Just press it into the cap. So it'll all, you know, whatever, whatever. And I already put the third layer. I'm gonna do, I do two here, but it is a third layer here on the sides. While I'm waiting for this to dry. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm still waiting on this to dry, but what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the holes for my ears because that's how I can ensure that this part stays down. Um, right, so cut that. And then just please don't make sure y'all don't, I mean, please make sure y'all don't cut y'all ear. Cause baby, but yeah, cut a hole where your ear at and then just cut down. Right. Cut down so it'll stay like that, right? So what I'm gonna do before I cut it, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, put my makeup on it. Use whatever color is closest to your skin tone. Um, I know sometimes like your scalp is lighter, right? But yeah. So I'm gonna just pat this all in the front of my head. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna try to cut it in sections. So I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut it. All right. Last time I used that little razor thing, I cut my forehead. So that's why I'm using the scissors this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side right here. So like I said, I'm gonna, I cut it in sections. If I cut it in sections, it just make it a lot easier. Um, with me and what I'm trying to accomplish versus me trying to go through the whole thing and cut it or whatever, right? Okay, right. So I just cut. So just cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. 
So you don't, I don't want this part to go all the way down. So I'll pull it up. Um, right, if I need to bring it back down, I will. But so I'm gonna go here, cut this side. And then any extra, extra, what I try to do is I try to literally cut it. Cause yeah, it's just easier that way to just try and get it cut. And then just do this side. Right. Yeah. Okay, so then what I do is because you all can see, I can still see the little rolly parts. So I've tried to do like the Gosta V spray on it, but it don't really, that don't really work for me. So I just go in on those pots that's still up and then I just literally take the glue and just dot it on it. I got a red line, y'all, on my forehead, that's crazy. Um, I literally just dot it in those areas where it needs to be laid down. And then I take my little tail and then I literally just lay it on top of it. The wig has to be as non-visible as possible, right? All right, so you just mush it down, you blend it into it. Blend it into it. I'm just go back in with my So I'm not going nowhere fancy. I just need to put my wig on. So like the back part, y'all, I don't cut it. I don't cut this off. I literally just tuck it under. So here's the wig. Right. Boom, boom, bam, real curly and cute, right? So what you wanna do is, of course, you wanna position this on your head first. You always wanna position your wig on your head first. And then, you gotta make sure your part's right. Right, okay. And then, what you gonna do is, let's go again, make sure everything is right. I take my clips and then I literally move all the hair from the front, but I, you wanna make sure the lace is loose so you don't wanna do it too tight, but enough where the hair is not in the way. So you wanna do that on both sides. Where my other clip at? Okay, so then boom, you done did it, right? You got the wig on. So you kind of push it back. Then here's the fun part. And we do a layer. Right? Boom, bam, bow. And then, you know, you mush it down. So you want to do, you don't want to put too much glue because if you put too much glue, then it sometimes it won't dry as transparent as you need it to be. And plus it spreads. So, um, I'm not sure how y'all like to do y'all's, but... This should definitely spread, so you don't need a lot. Um, but yeah, so put your first layer. I do three layers because I definitely like to keep mine on for a couple of days or whatever. Uh, so then that's the first layer. You just let it dry down a little bit. You don't want to get it like when you when you put the, the glue on there. You don't want to get it too 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 clear, like too transparent. You want it to get transparent a little. Then go in and then do the second layer. And this shit right here is like good. Okay. So go in, same thing. Lay it down, lay it down. You hoes lay it down. Right? Okay. So, and what I do is I start back 
and then I go forward because I don't want to, um, I don't want to like do it too far up on my forehead, if that makes sense. Um, cause it can sometimes, I do focus on this area. I just changed the subject. I didn't like, I have a one yard mind, but I try to focus on this side well, like where the edges are or whatever. So let me just, I didn't put no glue right there. I know this. Make sure I put glue right there because I need my edges to lay down. So it's still drying. So I let it dry down some more. Let me let me rub that in. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my third layer. Okay. I'm gonna skip that side right there real quick. Okay. And then last layer, and then you just repeat this all over again. I try not to get it all on the the um the what you call this thing the wig cap but it just happened like that sometimes like i said y'all want to try and get it um as blended as possible i'm gonna put it on and then i'm gonna let it dry down and then i'll be back okay so as y'all can see she's down right boom now i just gotta do some baby hairs so what I do is I use this look these little disposable spoolie brushes because they work amazing and then I just rub like dab it in there then I literally just take it and boom I'm the I don't really like baby hairs y'all I'll be I'm literally doing this for y'all lying cafe okay so then I go to the side one here and so I'm gonna do the same thing with that I just brush it down it just gives the the whatever I be, I'm trying to go for the 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 swoop that I'm trying to be going for it gives the best swoop with this spoolie brush if y'all ain't know right boom so got one two and then I'm gonna do this one over here and then I'll be done This piece right here because we close it on the act like all right there we are okay so boom take my clips out right and i might i'm definitely going to fix this baby hair right here on y'all because it's not centered at all i don't know what the fuck i thought i was doing but this not in the middle she not in the middle yeah whatever i'll fix it off camera but yeah so that is how i mj put on my wigs but yeah so uh yeah so I, I fixed it but as you can see this is it that's my lace so if you guys have any questions of course ask them below and thank you guys for watching this video until next time see you later